Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today Cancer, you guys got Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch, number 18. Now it's funny because I feel like a lot of you guys have had to do the opposite, which is like always feel like, you know, I'm a Cancer, people underestimate me, people think that I'm like always this loving, you know, emotional freak <laughs> who cries all the time and who's like super sensitive and I always have to kind of negate that by being maybe more in my masculine right like i feel like a lot of you guys have had to work on you know how people view you you don't want people to see you as soft and timid you want people to see you as strong so i feel like a lot of you guys have had to be in your masculine a lot of the time like even though a lot of you guys again know exactly how to be that feminine it's like you can't be that feminine most of the time not on the 3d and I feel like the deer is kind of leading you back to the feminine energy. That's what I'm getting. Like, the deer is kind of like, it's the end of that shit. It's the end of that period of time. It's the end of that time where you feel like you have to always protect yourself and you feel like you always have to hide who you are. And I think a lot of you guys want to be like this nurturing. I'm picturing like Snow White, you know, when she's like talking to the birds and like, baking a pie and cleaning the house like I think a lot of you guys like know exactly what that is that that feeling and that energy of being that feminine is but again it's like you can't be that here in the 3d like in dating it hasn't served you you know people are always like maybe taking advantage of you or you know they want you to be extremely sexual I'm getting with the queen of wands like they want you to do like be everything but like who you feel like you are and a lot of you guys, I feel like, are just this kind, nurturing person. But the 3D hasn't given you that sense of security. So a lot of you guys can never really show that to people. Or you're afraid to show it to people because it's like they will take advantage. And I feel like this is the end of that. That's what I'm getting. It's the end of that. So I don't know how. I kind of feel like when a strong masculine comes by, that is when a feminine can truly be in their divine feminine energy. And it doesn't mean that that masculine energy within you isn't there, but it just is going to allow you to like be in that divine feminine energy. So this could be the timing of when a divine masculine wakes up or a divine masculine comes in. Because um, I kind of only feel like you can truly be in this energy alone, right? Or with someone who makes you feel safe and secure and who loves that about you <laughs> you know what i'm saying so let me see what's coming for you cancer because i kind of feel like that's what they're saying it's the end of this period of time where you feel like you have to hide so cancer you see this is exactly what i was saying we have the eight of cups and we have the three of cups like we have all this cup energy and i feel like this is you letting go of past cycles or maybe this is what you have to do where you have to kind of forgive yourself for all those times you were in your masculine and all those times that you were in fear so you just you know you clung to that masculine energy and you weren't truly being yourself and i feel like instead of embracing yourself, you picked at yourself. You're like, why am I so sensitive? Why do I feel like crying? Like, why does this have to be who I am? And I feel like that has not served you. And I think this is about like forgiving yourself for that. Maybe a lot of the times other people have wanted you to be somebody that you were not. And I feel like those people who like kind of influenced you in a negative way to not be yourself, you're letting go of them as well. And again, it could have been a masculine energy who, yeah, it's only a distorted masculine who wants a feminine to be masculine like all the time, right? And that's exactly who this father is in reverse. Someone who's very imbalanced, someone who cannot provide for you security, right? Because they themselves are distorted. So uh, again, if you find a true divine masculine who's in their masculine energy, there's someone who wants you to feel so secure just being yourself and loving you the way that you are. And they're not gonna expect things from you. 
um, without understanding, you know, why where that's coming from in themselves. So again, I think a lot of distorted masculines have been in your life, and a lot of people who have, you know, hurt you and made you feel like you could not again be yourself. And now you're stepping into this a really abundant time, where. And it, I think it's only abundant because you're accepting yourself and you're not afraid of who you are anymore and you don't really care what these distorted people in your life want from you anymore. That's like the biggest thing because there will always be these distorted masculines around who ask you for shit and then don't want to give you anything in return, right? And, you know, they want you to give, 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 give so that they can receive, right? Only a distorted masculine <laughs> wants to receive and not give anything in return, right? Because the masculine is supposed to give in order to receive in return, right? Like the masculine is the giver and the feminine is the receiver. And then there can be an exchange of energy once the feminine is secure and the feminine will love to give, right? Because the masculine was so giving themselves. But if you're a distorted masculine, you want the opposite. You want to receive, 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 and you don't give anything in return, right? So I think it's the end of that time period for you. It's the end of giving people shit that you're not even ready to give, you know? And that could be even sexually, like, you know, people just kind of want to meet you and then have sex and the relationship's over or the relationship's just based on sexual energy or, you know, all this bullshit. And you just don't have time for it. That's what I'm getting, like, you have no time for it. And you're not gonna wear a mask anymore. And you're not gonna stop believing in yourself. And it's, it's kind of like the end of that per period of time. That's what I'm getting. And for a lot of you guys, if you're not there yet, you will be. You will be. Like, they're kind of trying to prep you for it. I feel like it's something that you have to understand first. That, like, maybe some of you guys are this deer. Maybe this is the animal. Like, your spirit animal or your totem animal. And a lot of you guys don't like that. Like, you resent it. It's like, oh, why do I have to be the deer? You know, I want to be like the tiger. I want to be the lion. And it's kind of like, again, why do you want to be somebody that you're not? Why do you want to delve so far away from who it is that you were born to be and who it is that you were born on this earth like i was it's so funny because i was watching like home videos of my family and i <laughs> i was kind of cringing you know when you hear your voice on a camera and you see what you did like 20 years ago and you're like oh my god like ew but at the same time it's like i, ha I have changed but like i'm still myself like i see that kid and i'm like oh my god that's totally me like it was a total pain in the ass it just is what it is like that's that's who I am <laughs> and I think a lot of the times I feel like I've had to be in my masculine energy because of distorted masculines around me distorted energies around me so I think this is about like looking at those videos of yourself and being like wow I understand why I was the way I was and I understand why I did the things that I did but now I understand that I don't have to do that anymore <laughs> I don't have to be that person anymore I don't have to pretend anymore I don't have to wear a mask anymore I just am who I am um, and it's like, you can accept me for who I am or you could not be in my life. <laughs> but I think that the main thing here is if like you're not feeling this energy and you're not here yet, it's about letting go of these people who are distorted or not answering to these people anymore, not feeling like you have to answer to them, right? And that's how I feel like you're going to n heal this part of yourself um, by accepting and forgiving not only like these people, but yourself like the child within you, the child within you that wasn't prospering, right, being themselves and wasn't prospering being emotional and wasn't prospering being, you know, that nurturing person and always wanting to change to fit in. And I think like that part of you also needs to be forgiven. And then I feel like you're gonna open yourself up to who you, who you truly are. And again, I don't think you're coming up as a queen of cup only because I feel like the queen of earth, when you say nurture, you hear queen of earth. So I feel like we're talking about, you know, someone who's very nurturing and someone who's like that homemaker and someone who's like that mother energy, right? And I feel like that's exactly who this queen of earth is. And we all have the queen of earth in us. And I feel like it's funny because you have the queen of wands out here too, which is probably another energy that maybe you don't feel very a part of, but... I feel like a lot of us have been distorted, like our sexual energies have been distorted by these, dis these distorted masculines, right? And maybe a lot of you have felt like exploited and a lot of you guys have felt used and a lot of you guys have felt like, you know, this is all people like, this is what people want and I've had to change who I am for others and this is like not doing that anymore. Like I just don't see you doing anything that 
somebody else wants you to do. I feel like you're going to just going to 100% be yourself. And if there are any masculines around you who are in this distortion, you're not, it's not even like you're letting them go. You're just putting up these firm boundaries against them. You see how like you're here and then they, they're here. It's like there's this protection around you, but like no one put that protection there, you did. You know what I mean? Like, like I mean, like the divine didn't place this barrier here. You placed the barrier here. Do you know what I'm saying? And maybe in the past you couldn't, you couldn't see who you needed to protect yourself from, and now you see it very clearly. And I feel like you're not gonna be around people who wear masks themselves. So it's like if this person's distorted, and all they want to do is receive, and they don't want to give me anything in return. I don't know what made you this way. I don't know why you're like this. I feel sorry that you are but you're not going to taint my energy <laughs> you're not going to touch me like i'm not l allowing anyone to who doesn't deserve to be around me and who doesn't deserve my energy to get it so it's like a very firm stance cancer and again if you're not feeling this energy you will maybe the first step is getting away from these people blocking these people like putting boundaries against these people and then I feel like it goes into a deep reflection of who, who you, like times in your past when you've had to do this as a child and where this all started from, forgiving that. And then that will allow you to forgive others. And then that will, again, strengthen your bond between who you, who, like strengthen the bond within yourself so that you don't have to put up with people like this. And you don't feel the need that you like have to please anybody. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's not about pleasing others. It's about pleasing yourself now. And I just feel like you just could give a fuck about these people. Like in the past when you were just needing energy and attention and time and you just give people whatever they wanted. Now it's like, I don't have any time for you. <laughs> Please get away. <laughs> so yeah, I love like, actually I feel like you shouldn't be next to these people. Like I'm just like, wait a second. No, the cards, they don't, you guys shouldn't be around them. So if there are distorted masculines around you, I don't think you should be around them, to be honest. Um, like, put up firm boundaries, okay? Because, like, as I was putting the cards together, I felt like, no. So, again, whoever this is, if this is a lover, if this is a parent, if this is a cousin, I don't care who this is. It doesn't matter. It could be everyone that you meet that's a masculine. Put up the boundary until you meet the right person. You know what I mean? Like, I shouldn't have to say that, but, like, a lot of the times people, like, we get lonely. And we, you know, or we want to get back in the dating game and we want to just you know, see how it goes. And it's like, it's not even about that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's about being yourself and being abundant in yourself and not having to worry about <laughs> pleasing anybody but yourself, okay? Well, let's put you guys some advice. But I love this reading for you, Cancer. I think this is a very big energy. This is like coming back to who, you, who it is that you are, like your true self. And I don't think that anybody can mess with this energy right now. Like, even if you don't believe in yourself right now, a part of you does like even if i don't know what part of you it is if it's the child if it's you know your higher self but there's a part of you that does believe in this and if you're not there yet you will be like if one part of yourself's not there yet or two parts of yourself are not there but w like if all the parts of you are not but there's like this tiny part of you that is into like feeling this reading then i feel like that's all it needs it's like again like a light in the darkness all you need is a tiny little bit and that's it right like it just grows so the ripple effect right like you put your finger in the water and it causes a ripple that's all you need so if this was kind of resonating with you but you're not there yet you will be like believe in yourself come on <laughs> all right let's pull advice yeah i love this intuitions and downloads exactly like you're having this very big download happening um I want to read what this says about downloads because I hear people saying, oh, I'm getting it like this download right now. And it's just an interesting like word. Like I want to see how they define a download because I feel like I can use the word download and I don't know if like how to even explain it. If you feel that you've been having psychic insights into a particular situation and have been wondering if you can trust them, this card is reassuring you that you that they are indeed correct. This is a time when you are able to see, hear, and feel beyond the human senses. Your intuition is becoming stronger and you are in touch with your angels, guides, and other divine beings 
we're encouraging your growth and connection to the universe. Exactly. So it's kind of like a growth, like a huge growth spurt, right? Like we're we're probably all adults here. We're not growing in height anymore, obviously. But we all know what a growth spurt is. So this is, again, some sort of growth spurt happening within you, Cancer. And I feel like that's what this download is. And it has a lot to do with you coming back to yourself, right? Because again, if anyone should understand divine feminine energy, male or female, it's Cancer, right? It's a water sign. <laughs> I feel like that's, if I had to say what feminine energy is, I would be like water, right? So that's what's happening, this massive download, a growth spur, and it might feel uncomfortable. Like, you know, some, you know, my brother used to grow really quickly for like, you know, when you get stretch marks, right? Like you're growing too fast for your skin um, and you, you get a stretch mark. Like it might be uncomfortable like that. Like my brother used to have growing pains. Like he would cry because he was growing like so fast and his feet would hurt, his like legs would hurt, and it was just like the craziest thing. Um, and he, he is pretty tall, so like maybe that's why, I don't know. But um, I feel like it might be painful for some of you guys to acknowledge these things or to um, let go of people. Like again, it's, it's, not, it's not maybe the most comfortable thing, this growth store, but it's something that needs to happen. So like, yeah, surrender, right? Like let it happen, don't fight it don't run away and just be like um i'm lonely at this time and i need this person around like don't fight it okay like i feel like cancer you can find a lot of excuses to why you did th certain things in the past and this isn't about like the past this is about the present this is about right now like again your inner child will forgive you for everything that you had to do but it's just acknowledging it right it's just saying like oh i see what happened here and you know i'm so sorry <laughs> And that's it, you know? I mean, when you're a child, like, you don't know any better, right? So that's what I'm getting, Cancer. Like, surrender to this and don't fight it. I love you, Cancer. <laughs> I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.